perfect understanding of all things. We thank him for the way of holiness revealed to them for our learning. We can never thank God enough for opening up our understanding. I believe one scripture says, blessed are your eyes for they see. One of the greatest privileges in life is when your understanding come open to who God is. And when your understanding come open to the reality of what's written in the scriptures. Jesus said, search the scriptures. For in them ye think ye have eternal life. And many people search the scriptures, but they're still blind after they search them because they don't understand what they're searching. Amen. All right, we're going to grade it, dive into the Bible, but someone left a note up here. I almost forgot about it. I'll try to answer this question as quick as I can. What does it mean when God is dealing with you? Mm. Hmm. And what are the different ways God deal with us? It'll take me a lifetime to explain that one. When God does deal with us, how will we know? God dealing with us versus Satan dealing with you. Explain. All right, give me the book of Kings when the mm -hmm. prophet Elijah mm -hmm. was up on the mountain. Now, I have to take the last question and combine it with the first so the last shall be first and the first <laughs> shall be last That's right. what does it mean when God is dealing with you God deal with you according to what is written in the scriptures and I want everybody to hear me and get this anybody say God move on them to do anything but yet what you say God move on you to do contradict the scriptures God is not moving on you because God is not going to tell us to believe on him as the scripture have says and then make you do something that the scripture don't say that's right you get what I'm telling you like a woman say God called and sent me to preach the gospel well she's saying God is dealing with her now I can't take her word of mouth I have to go to my GPS system and find out what source made her travel into the pulpit. That's right. Eh? That's right. Thank God. And when I go to my GPS system that plainly says, mm -hmm. I suffer not a woman to teach nor the use of authority over the man, but to be in silence with all subjection. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. Adam was not the first one to fall into the transgression, but the woman fell into the transgression. So whenever God deal with anybody, he's dealing with you. I don't care if you get so happy you float from your bedroom <laughs> all down the expressway. Your feet never hit the asphalt of the street when you land. And if your body give off such power and tell the, it just black out the city, it, it ruined the power grid of the city. I'm coming back to Bible. That's right. This is what makes me hold the world feet to the ground. That's right. Never get excited when a man say or a woman say God made them do this. God made them do that. God made them do the other. Because another scripture says how the Lord do not behave himself unseemly the Holy Ghost doeth not behave itself in the wrong way that's right so let's go to work in the Bible and let's get this let me show you this in the book of Kings first, first. Kings chapter 19 and we're started verse 9 follow me in your Bible first Kings chapter 19 and we're starting at the ninth verse all right and he came thither unto a cave yeah and, and lodged there uh -huh. and behold the word of the Lord came to him and he said unto him, what doest thou hear, Elijah? In order for you to properly differentiate, to tell the difference, whether God is dealing with you or Satan, you need some godly experience. That's right. You got to have some experience with God so you can properly identify him. That's right. 
If you cannot, uh, when I came up in the hood, you know, the, the old heads, when I came up, I